A silk strider carapace is so strong it can withstand the harshest of weather. Even the legendary sandstorms of Valdenfels Molag Armor region were said to barely make a dent in them. Of course, that's all ash now. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I love that though. Alright, enough about this. Alright. Okay. Man, with how strong their Safe carapace travel. is meant to be, I'm like shocked that no one ever made armor out of them. <sighs> Look, so cool. <laughs> also a little fucked up in that he found one of the last ones hiding inside of a cave, and then he just decided, <laughs> I guess I'll just fucking mutilate this one, won't I? <laughs> When we had last left the last dragonborn, they were investigating a murder plot. Indeed, it was Counselor Morvane of Ravenrock who was at risk of being murdered. And so it turned out through their investigations inside of a stinky old tomb that, indeed, it was none other than the former... Great House Slalu, now dissolved, that was behind the conspiracy. Indeed, two members of Ravenrock, previously esteemed members of the community, were behind the schemes, and their adventures took them out to Fort Frostmoth and back well <laughs> no, not quite. Not that was something else. That was that was the Ash Spawn, but their adventures now took them out to another fortress on the island. Yes, to... to this place where they would find whoever it was, perhaps more of these hired mercenaries of House Lalu, who sought to bring down havoc upon Ravenrock and House Redoran. This is the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Dragonborn, welcome back. Shoom. There we go. What's the name of this place again? And the threat to Counselor Morvane, Ash Fallow Citadel. All right, let's head on in. Okay, anything else before we go inside? Oh, look, they even had a fast travel carriage here. Wow. Okay, sure. Oh, yeah, should we? Oh, fuck, I thought I was going to mine these up in between videos. But, oh, what can I say? I forgot that they were over here. <laughs> oh, what can you do? What can you do? What can you do? Nonetheless, we'll we'll get him down. We'll we'll head in there. Oh shit! We should have done the uh, the usual mining without going into the fun camera mode. Here, let's get this. Oh, do I not have my ancient Nord pickaxe? I could have sworn I did. I must not have it bound or favorited. There we go. Good. Here, look. We can go double speed. <laughs> Amazing. So much faster. Great. Okay. Anything else? Hmm. I think we're good now. I think that's all of them. Yeah, let's head on in. Let's also equip our usual fare. There we go. Good. Yep, some nasty stuff going on. Are they necromancers? I don't know. That's not really typical of House Lalu, at least not that we know of. Maybe things have changed. We'll head on in here. All right. Fuck, how did so much ash, like, seep in? Good God. I guess it, like, really blew in through each area, right? What's that? Okay. I mean, sure, this is, like, a a dungeon that's that's very similar to the ones that we found in Skyrim. But, <laughs> but it feels different because there's just weird shit everywhere. There's ash all over the place. There was no other way it could end. There we go. Get some of that. Anything good on you? Nah. Okay. And more people here. They got sucked in by all the ash and stuff. Okay. Some heads. It really does look like necromancy was going on here. Okay. Oh, shit. Alright. This way. Fuck me. Honestly, part of me is surprised that the Morag Tong is still active. Right? I don't know. I mean, shit, I guess... You know what? I guess the Dark Brotherhood is still holding on. Why not their progenitor? Was it... Am I... Am I incorrect in saying that? I'm pretty sure, yeah. The Morag Tong... Uh... 
precede the Dark Brotherhood. They're like a shoot. They're a shoot off or an offshoot of the Morag Tong, I believe. Let's see. Let's flick this on. Originally, now now the the ties are almost entirely severed. Right. Okay. Anything else around here? Let's look inside of this fun little unit. Scroll of Hysteria, I'll take that. Good. Whole bunch of barrels. Goodness, look at this. They had a big, like, hole that they were digging here. Wow. Okay. Alright. Oh, I guess it's part of the collapsed area. There we go. Oh, shit. Wow, can we not smack fools anymore? What's going on? How come I can't do it anymore? I got nerfed. Yeah, let me, yeah, I can't do it. Wow. There we go. Yeah, something happened. I, I no longer have the ability to do that. I guess it's fine. because you know, It was fairly overpowered, and we didn't really need it anymore, but... Sheesh. Okay. Let's see. Actually, let's see. Do, do we still have it? Did I, like, reset block? No. Yeah, I should still have the ability to knock down people. Maybe for some reason they're immune? Doesn't work on fr- Oh, do you think it's, um... Do you think it's some weird shit to do with... Oh, where is it here? Oh, what's it called? Blessing? No. Hmm. Yeah, it's not here, I don't- Oh, wait, this. Yeah, do you think it's Companion's Insight? That's making it not take effect? Is that some kind of weird bug? Like, because... Because Freya is so nearby, whenever we try to do our shield charge attack, it doesn't take. Because it's trying to protect her, so it, no one ends up getting hit by it. Huh. Also, here's a question. If I if I scream right at her, will she be okay? Like, if I, if I do a Fusro Da right into her face? Is it going to actually affect her? Hang on. We'll have to check here in just a bit. Okay. Let's flick this light on. Effects of the Elder Scrolls. Treaties on... On Aleatic Cities. I can't remember if we read that in Oblivion or not. Huh. Varsa Balim and the... Nefar... Revijum. Test of Dagon. I don't know if we've read that before. That might be a new one. Ragtong boots, chitin boots. Chitin heavy boots, I should say. Anything else here? Beds, if we need to rest. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't work on you, but... That works, but also it's worth pointing out that... Our Fusro Da works also on other dudes. You know? Okay. Where were you when the dragon broke? Fun little hats here. Neat. Okay. Let's check inside of this safe. What have you got? Yeah, I'm willing to bet that it's some sort of weird interaction with that perk. And the... Apocrypha boon, or whatever you would call it. Great Harbingers. Uh, Great Harbingers of the Companions. Pirate King of the Abishan. Wolf Queen. Eh. Okay. Over here. Anything else? Nah. Cleared that out. Very well. Let's see. First hold revolt. Someone there. Oh. Did you hear something? <laughs> okay. Ghosts in the storm. I don't think we've read that. I'll take it. Oh shit, they see me. Okay. How do we get in there? Protect me! Hey! Stop that! Stop- stop trying to shoot me! Can I hit you through this? Oh fuck, I can. And you can hit me as well. Oh, uh, here's the lever. Okay. Well, hang on. <laughs> I'm just looking through this stuff. Of Cross Daggers? I don't know if I've read this. The History of Riften? I think we have, but I'm not sure now. Okay. Cabin in the Woods, History of Raven Rock. Sorry, Freya. Freya, you know, if you want, you don't have to stand right next to- I guess you don't fear death. You know, I believe you when you say it. You don't have to prove it to me. I do not 
fear. Death. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll take this. Good. How about this Dwemer Inquiries, Volume 3, and we'll take some of these gems. Okay. Alright, Frey, I hope you're ready. I'm gonna I'm gonna lower the or raise the gate. There it is. Give him a yell. I will not fall. Lovely. Well, we better eat. Ooh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, I'm checking again to see if if it was just a weird fluke. Okay. There we go. Heal up again. Ooh, was there a booby trap? Oh yeah. Look at that. Can we get them to like? Are they gonna crawl right into the other one? <laughs> they almost died from it. Hang on, what if I activate it right on top of them? <laughs> Look, <laughs> they were just right on top of. Them. I could have just like kept doing it, and keep clamping down on them. <laughs> okay, what's this thing do? Huh? Oh, did it activate or deactivate that? I have no idea. One thing over here. More Morag Tong stuff. Okay. Let's see. Ajidal's Descent. I'll take it. Oh. Investigate Kolbjorn Barrow. Oh. Huh. Olaf and the Dragon. Wisp Mother. Azir. Trajiz. Jazari. Jazari. I'm pretty sure we've read that one. In, uh, in Oblivion, I'll say. Should I, should I take straw? I don't know. If we take straw, we're going to be holding on to it until we go back to the mainland. Which I guess we can do. You know? Oh, look. It looks like we withdrew the lower ones here. Okay. So now we need to get the... Yeah, the ones coming out of the right column or whatever. Okay. Maybe this does it. Huh. Easy enough. What's in here? Oh look, it's like some sort of big fight arena. Where they train up their their melee prowess. Oh wow, this thing is enchanted. Elven Mace of Dread. Do I want that? Nah, who needs the money? Right? How much money do I even have? Yeah, we broke 200 grand recently. Okay. Over here. Empty barrels, yeah. Okay. Wow, look. More booby traps. Holy shit, they're everywhere. Okay. Poison Song, Songs of Skyrim, Rise and Fall of the Blades, Dance and Fire. Volume 3. Eh. No skill up. Okay. Let's do a quick save here, just in case. What will these do? Oh, it closes... Does it close both of them? I see. Okay. Fun. Alright, Freya, please don't kill me here. <laughs> okay. What does this do? Oh shit, did that launch an attack or is that you're doing, Freya? I pulled the, the chain back here. Freya, I don't know what these do! <laughs> I have no idea what they're doing, but I'm pulling them. Okay. What does that one do? Ow, shit! Okay. Fuck me. Okay, uh... <laughs> Let's, uh, take it easy here, Freya. Oh shit, I can't go through that. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Oh god, Freya. Ugh. Don't kill me! Did we disarm them, maybe? Is that what that did? Wow, I thought- Oh no, we didn't. <laughs> okay. Oh look, it's Vendel Sev- Severin. Severin. Oh shit. And company. There we go. Good. Good. Oh shit, you took an ultimate healing. Holy hell. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you're just stuck in a corner. We're like, stun locking you practically. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Sorry, dude. Okay. Chitin Armor of the Eminent Knight. Chitin Bracers of Eminent Wielding. Hmm. A Daedric Dagger, unenchanted, though. Wow, I'll take it. 
34 gold, gold ring, lockpick, necklace of sneaking. Eh, it's very valuable. Key to the manor, another ultimate healing. Good thing you didn't pause and bring up the inventory for that, huh? Alright, what have we got here? Ooh, jeez, what's going on here? Are they, like, waterboarding them? I wouldn't put it past how slowly, frankly. Okay. Go. Good. Great. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, let's see, what have you got? Anything of interest? Nah, not really. How about you? Nah, not really. Okay. Got some scrolls here, rolls of paper. Oh, look, Corden's coming through. Okay. Well, no, I guess this wouldn't be waterboarding, would it? I mean, I guess, I guess you could. But it's not necessarily, is it? At least not from what I know of it. Okay. It's definitely some kind of fucked up, like, drowning torture. <laughs> Okay. Or does- can it- can it be waterboarding if you necessarily don't use, like, like, the towel or a towel-like whatever? I don't know. Okay. Over here. Let's look inside the treasure chest. What have we got? Ebony armor? No thank you. Flawless emerald. Eh, some little knickknacks. Worthwhile, I guess. Okay. Cool. Here, let's take them with us. Why not? Let's get, uh, old Vendel here. Oh shit, too powerful. Fair enough. Okay, how about over this way? These guys. There we are, beautiful. Love it. <laughs> cool. Alright, was there anything good in this, like, rubble area? I don't think so. No. Alright. Let's head on out of here. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Great. Jesus, look at that. Could you imagine being Vendel, though, and having to go through all that every time? Like, my god. <laughs> what a hassle. What an absolute hassle. Sheesh. Okay. Oh, did I check this? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's roll on out of here. Whole place is cleared. Man, there were a lot of dudes in here, it's gotta be said. This place was chock full of Morag Tong assassins. How do you think they even got here without people knowing, right? <laughs> I mean, this there's not many other abandoned forts on the entire island, right? It's not it's not like this is Vardenfell or anything. Solstheim is fairly small. How do you not know when someone shows up with this many people? <laughs> I mean, you can see Raven Rock right over there. It's it's really not that big. <laughs> You'd think you would have scouts or something to spot it? <laughs> I mean, there had to be at least a dozen people marching into the fucking place to hole up there. <laughs> Just completely goes by them. I guess they were distracted by the ash spawn, but like I said, it's the only other fort, I think. <laughs> at least in this section of the island, right? <laughs> There's only two. <laughs> Fort Frostmoth and Ash Fallow Asshole, whatever it is. <laughs> Good God. Let's head over this way. Oh, no, wait. I think there's, yeah, there's at least another one right there. Whoa. Three? Holy shit. <laughs> okay. It is also worth noting that uh, that place did not exist in Blood Moon, for those of you who have not played it. That is a fairly new place. Oh, shit. Omega, protect me. Oh, my God, Freya, it's the undead ash dudes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is It is very cool how they come out of out like that. That's very cool. <laughs> there we go. Oh, shit. Jeez, they really sent some sort of cool item flying away. Good. Should probably be soul trapping them, huh? We just picked up a few. There was yeah. no other way Alright, we'll take all that, take that lovely root right there. Yeah, one went flying down here. I think it must have went into the Oh there it is! Hang on. Oh shit, hang on. Let's let's loot this real quick. Let's do our due diligence. Okay. Skeletal dudes, a reaver. Got some gold and a pick on you. 
Anything else? Jesus, what a bunch of gore. What the hell happened? I guess it was... Was it the work of... Yeah, I guess this person, like, was stashing the treasure here and came back for it. And then all of a sudden the ash spawn, like, flew up after him. Ugh. Should we take another Nordic pickaxe? I kind of want to. You know? We can put it on display if we so desire. Alright, what's down here? Where, did our hoot nanny go flying this way? I saw something, like, go flying past us, barreling down the hill. Just like this skull is. But I don't think... It's down here? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, fair enough. Oh, but look at this guy. Look at this friend! There we go. Take these. Let's go up here and say hello, of course. Oh, look! Wow, there are more friends here! I knew you were here. But I didn't know- Oh, is this from the Creation Club? Wait, I can talk to you? <laughs> you make an odd noise. Okay. Hey! From that look on your face, I'm guessing you've never seen a Silt Strider before. I have, though! No, what is it? This is Dusty. I personally trained her from a lava. Feels like a lifetime ago now. She hasn't been in traveling condition for quite a while now. I've tried to let her go off on her own, but she insists on staying here. How do you survive out here? We get bar trade nods and ends with the locals. I've decided to stay here and make sure she passes in peace. It's the least I can do for her. Oh, that's so Every sweet. Every once in a while, a local makes it out here. Although they usually just want to catch a glimpse of Dusty. Silt striders are pretty rare now. How rare, I wonder. About them. What would you like to know? Why are they so rare? The blast from the volcano wiped most of them out. Found Dusty in a small cave on Vardenfell. Silt Strider cocoons are pretty tough. What are... what were they used for? Mostly for transporting goods and people. They were pretty commonplace in Morrowind, but that was ages ago. A Silt Strider carapace is so strong, it can withstand the harshest of weather. Even the legendary sandstorms of Vardenfell's Molagama region were said to barely make a dent in them. Of course, that's all ash now. Oh man, I love that though. Alright, enough about this. Alright. Okay. Safe travel. Man, with how strong their carapace is meant to be, I'm like shocked that no one ever made armor out of them. Oh, look, so cool. Okay, neat. Also a little fucked up in that he found one of the last ones hiding inside of a cave and then he just decided <laughs> I guess I'll just fucking mutilate this one, won't I? <laughs> I'll just tear out some of its innards and turn it into, you know, the old Dunma tradition. I'll, I'll make it to where I can pull on some of its its brain and just move, make it move about. <laughs> That's right fine with me. <laughs> Why would you do that? It's one of the last ones and you decide to turn it into a transport thing? Didn't he say he found it? Yeah, when it was in a cocoon. You gotta be shitting me if you're telling me it came out this way. Dog, I, I know how you make these. They don't come like this with this shit out. They don't come with these things on here. You fucked it up a bit. You fucked with it. You're a fucking deranged lunatic! You, you're tricking everybody, making everybody think that you're up to some good shit helping out the Silt Striders one of the last few. No! No, you're a sick fuck! Just for, for laughs, you decide to fuck it up! <laughs> you fucking monster! I'm talking to this Nyx hound. It says nothing to me. It just continues to look up like an absolute dingus. <laughs> Alright, but yes. This is what has been making the noise every now and then. Look at it. Oh, I never noticed they have kind of a sad face about them. I don't think that's meant to be like a face like a mouth and two eyes looking very glum, but I can't unsee it now. The noble Silt Strider. I wonder if they'll ever come back. Probably not. Oh, so sad. <laughs> Good God. Okay, let's go over here. It is wild that they decide to make this this model just for this. 
Right. I think it really goes to show just how much of, like, a labor of love and, like, how much fan service they wanted to include for Morrowind people. Like, they don't- this isn't, like, involved in a big quest as far as I know. It's just here just for people to look at. Right? It's just here just for Morrowind folks. Okay. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, shit. Ooh. Stay away from that shit, Gordon. Oh, God! Ooh! It's coming this way! Oh, shit! They're shooting at me! Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm gonna die! Oh, I'm stuck in the rock! Okay. <laughs> that fucking, like, super ice blast. Let's heal up here. Okay. Oh, fuck! Okay. There we go. Fuck me. Make him stop! Make him stop! Please, no more of those! Oh, fuck. Why are they so powerful when they do that? Okay. Over this way. Like this guy, I can I can take a bazillion fireballs, huh? Even without being done Mary. Like look at Freya go. I'll see you Good. Okay. Ooh, a beehive husk. What in the world were you doing with that? Maybe that's what they were fighting over. Some reagents or whatever. <laughs> right? It's like, well, it'll happen if, if you're playing ESO and you see someone riding in front of you taking all of your... your little nodes and stuff. <laughs> I think you can do that in ESO, I'm not sure. Okay. Let's see. Should I dig up this? Oh, these are like craters from... Yeah, you know, these are like debris and stuff that flew over here from Red Mountain, huh? Yeah, look, all the trees, the way that they're blasted back. Wow. Okay. Huh. Here's a question. Did they did they use some of these assets in in Fallout 4? In the um Oh shit, what's it called again? In the southwestern corner of the map, the glowing waste? Like some of these little rocks or whatever. Maybe some of these blasted back trees. I don't know. Well, no, I don't think there was much in the way of trees at all. Right. But maybe some of the rubble. I believe that. That's it. I don't know. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they extremely did not. Huh. Weird. I mean, I wouldn't hold it against them, right? Like, go for it. Like, making games is hard as shit. Take a shortcut. I don't, I don't mind. Okay. Let us dig up this junk while we're here. Good. There we go. Look at me. I'm a fucking mining machine. Does this hurt me? Huh. Okay. I have some trauma root here. Okay. Man. It's it really gives you an idea of just how fucking intense the eruption is, right? Like holy shit. Are there are there volcanic eruptions on Earth that can get this powerful or is this like amplified by the magical energies inherent within the Elder Scrolls and you know, the little special something something that was just inside of that mountain, you know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Like like, sure, I'd believe, like, a big blast or whatever, but not this far away, over all this water and shit. Huh. Because you'd have to go through all of the, like, West Gash region. Or, like, the southerly part- or no, wait, yeah. Because, yeah, so- with where Solstheim is, it would be, yeah, like, the northeastern West Gash region. Alright. Okay. Anything here? I don't know. I don't know too much about volcanoes. Maybe they really are capable of, like, such incredible destruction from the sheer blast power. Like, I know, you know, ash definitely getting everywhere, but, like, the the physical force of it, just blasting shit back in that way? Holy hell. That feels very Elder Scrollsy, rather than how volcanoes really function. Which, like I said, very special volcano right over there. <laughs> very, very special volcano. Okay. 
Anything else? I think we got everything in this sec. Oh, no. A little something else. Okay. Bye, Dusty. Oh, she looks so sad and beautiful at the same time. Haunting. Very macabre. Okay. Let's head on over here. I do, however, like the fact that they're saying, like, yeah, this isn't the last one, necessarily. So it does still give them an opening for, like, I don't know. There could be a nice little... Like a, a zoologist or whatever opens up some place to breed silt striders or whatever in the future. And there's a whole bunch of cute little ones that you'll find. Oh, like a little... What do you call it? A little hatchery, I guess, for bugs? You would call it a hatchery? Would you call it a hatchery? Or a nursery? Would you still call it a nursery if it's insects? I have no idea. Probably, right? I, shit, I have no idea. I'm really out of my, I'm really out of my wheelhouse here. <laughs> Assuming I ever had a wheelhouse to begin with. <laughs> okay. Let's go on over this way. Let's grab this. Who's there? Oh shit. Who is there? Ooh. It's some wild asshole. Let's steal your soul. Okay. Good. Beautiful. Let's take your stuff. Burnt Spriggan wood. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, they've really turned Soul Slime just into like a microcosm of some of the memorable parts of Vardenfell. Well, I don't know. It, it definitely isn't fully complete. Like, there's not the, the like, Savannah Grazelands. Oh, fuck me! How many fucking fireballs you got, dude? You weird fucking bald asshole? Fuck! Jeez! How many did I just eat right there? I know I was talking about, like, oh, I could fucking eat a million fireballs. And this guy was like, <laughs> how about we fucking touched it, asshole? <laughs> Jeez, get out of here. Who is this man? Give me your hat and your potions. Now you work for me. Oh, it's too powerful. Of course he is. Okay. Take some of these amazing roots, though. Okay. Good. Head over here. You know what's cool as well? New sound effect for looting the trauma root. New fucking sound. The scathe craw, that may be a similar sound we've heard before, but the trauma root? That's new, dude. That's some new shit. <laughs> It's like battle calls are yeah. so fucking good. Ah. <laughs> By the old maker! Little freaks! Ah. <laughs> good stuff there, Freya. Good fucking stuff. I will not fall. Okay. Where did you come from? By the old maker! <laughs> she like really pops the bee. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Take your reagents here if we can. Yes, give me that jelly. Oh shit. Where is... Oh, here it is. Okay. I do love, sincerely, how they explode like this, right? Okay. There's some graceful netch over there. Grazing, I guess, or whatever they do. Who even knows? They're just chilling, vibing. Some sort of weird ruin over there. Okay. Oh shit. Up and over. What? Yeah, that's the one thing about Soul Slime. No, uh, no prior Mabel over here, right? No prior Mabel. But, eh, like I said before, it's the island itself is small enough. It's not too big of a deal. Okay. There we are. Ho there! I return with good word. Make way! Yes, make way for me! <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Who do we need to check in with? The Captain Veleth dude or Morvane himself? 
I think more we're involved. Raised. Oh no. Second. Well, what happened? Were you able to track down Vendel? Out with it! I was! I killed his ass! He's no longer a threat. Then it's finally over. It is. What of the Red and Guard? I sent to assist you. They didn't make it. Slain by the Murag Tong. Damn it. I, I was hoping to protect our people by sending them, not of end course. up with casualties. What to thought? think that Vendel would stoop so low as to hire them. those fetchers. So I'm mm. glad you Journey. killed him. I still stand by it. Fetcher is my favorite of the, like, Dunbar swears and all that. <laughs> it's, it just, I don't know, it comes out so good. We'll Fetcher. All right. I did what had to be done. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. Counselor Morvane will be quite pleased when he hears about this. Can you tell me more about the Severin family? Is this new stuff? Eh, may as well. Telesu is wife to the family patriarch, Vendor. They have a single child, a daughter named Miri. They arrived here ten years ago and have been nothing but a benefit yeah, to we've Raven Rock ever since. Okay. I'm pretty sure all of his stuff. It Follow just, for me, whatever. and I'll take you to the counselor so you can speak to him yourself. Oh, okay. Where do we gotta Excuse go? Excuse me, counselor. Ooh, we made it. <laughs> I have some wonderful news. Adriel, I haven't seen a smile on your face like that in a long time. This visitor has single-handedly dealt with a threat that could have ended your life. Vendel, Telesu, and Miri Severin weren't who they appeared to be. I'm afraid they were here to avenge Villa Ulan's death. You brought Ravenrock back Vendel? from the Brink, Traveler. But he's done I so much for Ravenrock. How could this be possible? They did it to gain our confidence, Counselor. They had us all fooled. I should have been more vigilant. I'm sorry. Don't say that. It's not your fault, old friend. And you... Step forward. What I you've done for me, for all of Raven Rock, goes far beyond what I would have expected from a traveler to our town. For this, you have my deepest gratitude. Well, thank you, Counselor. Now, I'm certain Adril was prepared to reward you appropriately for everything you've done. However, since a bit of coin hardly seems like enough, I agree. I've decided to provide something more substantial. Oh, yes? Oh? Since the Severin family, or whoever they were, turned out to be criminals, their property is now forfeit. As counselor, I hereby award you Severin Manor. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> You've earned your citizenship here, and I hope you'll consider staying with us as a member of our community. I would I love to. Oh, we got Shiva and everything. Minds. You've brought light to the darkness, my friend. Wow, I love it. Okay, let's go on well, out of here. We'll stow we away a whole bunch Ravenrock. of stuff because Lord knows we have plenty of it that needs stowing. All right, but you know what? This whole situation where we get the manor, <laughs> I gotta say, very fucking Morrowind, right? <laughs> Whether it be part of a quest or, you know, your own doing. Just wipe out whoever owned a house, and you know what? It's just yours now. You just live there now. <laughs> Very fucking Morrowind. All right. Let's see. Any other things here? Yeah, we'll leave that. Let's head on inside real quick. Good. And then we'll stow away a whole bunch of these excess, like, potions and shit inside here. Let's see. Is there a little trunk, or do I really need to stow them inside the urn right here? I think I need to use the urn. Okay. Let's see. Let's sort by total weight. Good. Oh, whoops. I'm actually drinking them. There we go. Total weight. Good. Okay, now store. Lovely. Okay, get rid of these. These, these. Good. Are we unencumbered yet? Not yet. Okay. We're there now. Lovely. Okay, we'll just throw a few things around real quickly. Okay. Or maybe I'll just stash them, right? Maybe, maybe I'll just stash them. Where was all the areas for, like, throwing up a whole bunch of cool weapons and stuff? Hmm. 
Yeah, right over here. Okay. Ooh. They didn't account for the field of view stuff. Okay. How about in this barrel? Yeah, we got some wheat. Pull that out. And then we'll put in all of these cool weapons. And I'll take care of them at a later date. Oh, look at this! Huh. The Sky UI icons here. Ancient Nordic pickaxe. This one has the icon of a hand axe. A one-handed axe. And then this one has the icon of an actual pick. Huh. Why do you think that is? Odd. Oh, because it's a quest item, I guess. Ah. How peculiar. Okay. Lovely. Get rid of all those. These. Okay. That'll probably do it for now, right? Well, here, let's... Let's get rid of these as well. They're actually quite fucking heavy. Oh shit. I guess if I just, yeah, if I just rapid click, we'll be fine. Good. Okay. Awesome. Our own little home away from home. In between videos, I'll, I'll get looking all nice and stuff. Okay. Let's see, let's go on up here. Who wanted the East Empire pendants again? Hmm. I forget. Yeah, I'm not sure. Who wanted that stuff? I don't know. Okay. You know what? We could go over and grab some more Natch jelly for that dude who needed it. Yeah, let's do that real quick. That's probably a good idea. Because we saw some Natch just, you know, cavorting around over that way. We'll eat, chow down a little something something. Quick save, just in case. Nah! <laughs> they don't mind here, do they? They don't seem to mind. They don't ever, they're not ever like, all right, I'm gonna need you to stop that. <laughs> you need to, you need to fucking chill out, dude. <laughs> they're never, they don't ever say that. <laughs> Cause you know what? Honestly, it's the least of their worries. They got dragons and occasional like massive ash explosions. Dudes coming out of the... Oh, yeah, we did that. Dudes coming out of the ash itself. Rando wizards just throwing shit around out here. Look, it's the Arch Pyromancer and... Cryomancer again. Fuck me. Oh, shit. Oh, he's gonna end it. Oh, fuck. I did it again. Okay. Let's see, let's re-equip this. Great. No! Stop that shit! Oh, fuck! Okay, there we go. Oh, shit! Almost got me with that one. Okay. I'll take that. Fucking... Frost wizards! There you go. Eat shit, dude. <sighs> what a guy. Okay. Let's heal that up again. Look, I keep doing this. <laughs> bad. Right. And then Arch Pyromancer. Good. We'll take that. Should we take these mage? Nah, they're pretty bad. Okay. Now, where were those Netch? We just need one unit of jelly. I think they were up this way, huh? Whoa. Nah. Yeah, right? Hmm. Shit, I'm not sure. Oh, there they are. Okay. I think if we if we throw our soul trap real quick on one, we should pull it, right? Oh, burnt spriggan. Take care of you. I'll let you know I was coming out here for the netch. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, the shield shit doesn't work there either. I really think that uh, we like toggled it, toggled it off somehow by way of getting that black book perk. Okay, take that. We can't get that, huh? Oh, we can. All right, neat. All right, over here. Oh, we'll have to look at that later. <laughs> There's just an entire little scene right there for us. <laughs> Okay. 
Let's take care of you. Uh-oh, we got them all. Ooh, damn, they're a lot faster than I remember. Okay, wow, look at them coming in. They, like, swing around, too. Okay. There we are. I do not fear death. Soul gem large enough. How about the little one? The calf. Good. Okay. Alright. Victorious again. Alright. Let's see. Let's search this thing. There we are. Lovely. And that's all five, huh? Yeah. Good stuff. Okay. Good. Should we take the, the Netch leather? We may as well. Right? And we'll run this back to town real fast. Okay. Over here. Look up some of that on our way. Lovely. I wonder if there's a, a like, specific canonical reason as to why there's no Betty Netch. In this area? Was that just, like, too weird for them? <laughs> maybe maybe they, they didn't have enough time to throw them in there, right? I don't know. Like, you would also assume there would be pack guar on the island for the people who moved into Raven Rock to, like, move haul shit around. Especially given the fact that there's a... Well, I guess it, it is inoperable now. It only recently became fil or worthwhile to mine inside of the Raven Rock mine. But before then, you'd think that maybe there would still be some guar around, for whatever reason. You know? I don't know. Bring over some more of the domesticated creatures. Though I guess really that, that is just guar. <laughs> Aside from what we've already seen. Well, the Betty Netch, weren't they also- yeah, you could domesticate them. Yeah. Okay, let's head over here. I'm not sure who we gotta speak to, but we'll speak to him. Oh, is it up in here? Really? Let's see. Oh, uh, return the ancient Nordic pickaxe to Glover Mallory. Oh, okay. Recover the bone mold formula for Glover Mallory. Where is that at? Huh. I don't know. We definitely should do that. That'll probably be the next big thing that we do. Oh, shit. They're closed for the day. One moment. Check in here real fast. I work for Mogul. You got a problem, you talk to him. Hey, check it out, I got the pick. Find my pickaxe yet? Yep, here it is. You got a good thing going here now that you've reopened the mines. Don't let it go to waste. How are things now that the mines are open? Again. I've always had a steady stream of work thanks to the Rhetoran Guard, so it hasn't affected me much. However, I've seen the smile on people's faces, and there's hope around here once again. Something we've been lacking for a long time. Aww. Is Stalrim a type of ore? Calling Stalrim an ore okay, we've is... Heard that before. Some folks say it's enchanted ice, but I think there's more to it than that. Okay, Glover yeah, Mallory's Here. the name. Yeah, if I you're get... looking for a smith, uh -huh. you found one of the best. That's great, here's your pick. So, you finally tracked down old Crescius, <laughs> eh? I did. Quite a character, isn't he? Dryla. Tell you what, since you went through all the oh trouble God, of finding it for me and all... Me. You, you keep it. In After all that? Why? I just wanted to remind that codger you can't just go around oh, taking is. things from I'm other so people. Sorry, that now codger. that you've delivered the message, I'm satisfied. He said Besides, he'll that pickaxe hasn't done me any good in years. You know Maybe you can put it to good use. I do. Thank you. Okay. Great. Sure. Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. It is funny that Crescius stole the pickaxe from a Thieves Guild member, <laughs> right? That's, that's a little funny. <laughs> okay, let's roll back up into our place of residence. And I suppose, yeah, we'll call this one a little bit early, that way in between videos. Well, let's still turn this in, right? Let's rest for like, I don't know, until the next day, and we'll turn that in real quick. That way we don't have to deal with it, uh, in the next video. Seems like a good idea to me. Okay. Where are the- where are the beds at? Just this one? 
Okay, let's go for 12 hours. That should be fine. Should be early or late enough in the morning for our Netch Jelly contact to be up and about. There we go. Lovely. Oh, it's so nice to be up in here, right? It's got to be said, I'm so glad that of all the houses as well that you could have possibly gotten that are like within the Dunmary architecture, it was a Redoran one. Because it's absolutely my, my fucking favorite. Like, they could have gone with with a Telvani mushroom tower or whatever, or perhaps my least favorite, the, the Balmora sort of, like, manor, the, the Hlalu manors and all that. Made out of, like, I don't know, sandstone or something? I'm not sure. Limestone, maybe? I forget. But whatever it is, they're, they're probably my least favorite out of all of them. Right? Do, um... Lord, do the other great houses have their own unique architecture? I'd imagine they do. From a stone. One moment. I wonder if we'll see it in in Tamriel that rebuilt. That is my problem. I was clear when I loaned Garwin the money that I wanted it back by first harvest. I'll see what I can do. Hey, guess what? I got your shit. <laughs> I don't know who sent you here, but you've given us something to build on here. I hope someday we can repay you for your kindness. Thanks. It was revenge. Revenge sent me here. Here's the nets, Shelly. <laughs> it must have been quite difficult tracking those creatures down out there. Here, Ocean of these. ultimate well -being. They should help you during your journeys. Ooh, what what does that do? Ultimate well-being. Okay. Does it just make me feel nice? Oh, a triumvirate. Ah. Except it doesn't fully restore you, it's just a hundred of everything. Okay. So technically, as nice as it is, ultimate healing is still pretty good. Still worth having around. Do you actually sell these, by the way? Destroying the ash spawn has made it safer to work in the fields. Thank you. See what you got. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? I am. Hmm. Let's see, do you carry any more of those? You do not. Wow, so are these like super rare? Should I hold on to them and like put them up on display somewhere? Fuck, I almost feel like it. Okay, sure. Well, here, I'll buy all these. There we are. Good. Anything over here? Got some more lockpicks. Do I need any? I don't think so. I think we're fine. Okay, let's sell off some trash. Good. I guess I'll sell one of these. Lovely. All right. Sorry, Remember, I should really be doing I this in between videos. <laughs> All right, yeah. When next we come back, I'll have stashed away and, and uh, displayed a whole bunch of stuff inside of Severin Manor and all that. Right? We'll do that. Now, now, you know, like I said, as weird as it is to have this place still called Severin Manor rather than like all the other houses that you get in, in this game in Skyrim, right? To where they're like, oh, Breeze Home, Honeyside, uh, Windy Place. <laughs> I, I don't remember them all. But, you know, they have it's more of like a title rather than named after someone. Like, it doesn't take a surname, right? Or it's named after the region, like the, the Hearthfire Homes and all that. This is, this is still very Morrowind, right? In that it is named after someone and that someone is not you. <laughs> It's very Morrowind. So you know what? Although it's a little peculiar here, I, I stand in defense of it still being called Severin Manor. Even though... Oh, shit. Oh, creepy. <laughs> even though even though it technically belongs to you. Man, I've never seen them move so rapidly. Wow. Okay. Sure. I mean, I, I definitely know they do it, but already? So quickly? We've only been in here a handful of times. All right. When next we come back, we'll have this place uh, decorated a bit, stow away a few items and whatnot. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>